What's up guys, Jeremy and Brandon here from friendofrc.com giving you our review of the Kyosho Ultima. We purchased this truck last summer, last fall to kind of compete and give all the two wheel drive short course trucks out there a good run for their money to see what we like best. So we bought SC10, Low C Strike, which was popular or available at the time, mm -hmm. Slash, Blitz, and then obviously the Kyosho. So I, as with all our truck review or RC vehicle reviews, I'll take off the lid here and uh, let Brandon get to work on the technical. So as you guys are going to see here, this kind of chassis is mimicking the SC10, the Blitz style, more so than the Slash and the Low C style. It's a low pan chassis, so it's, a, it's a little bit lower to the ground, and the battery location is in the absolute lowest spot in the whole vehicle. So what does that mean? Well, this is a handling truck. It's made for track more than bashing, and we liked it a lot. It handled really well. Yeah, it was uh, outside of the SC10, it dominated in terms of control. You really, it was just really smart the way they had the battery laid. You know, I don't think we almost never rolled it, in, even in wet conditions at high speeds. It just gripped really well. It let loose when it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. You didn't get that high center, and uh, it's actually a ton of fun to drive. And it's really a representation of their the technical work, the the way they've laid it out. So I, I definitely like that. Um, in terms of cost of operation durability, uh, I'd say you know we as you can see this truck's in pretty poor shape. I mean it's you know we took it <laughs> through its paces. We didn't really pay much attention to it, but uh, it held up strong. Even the plastic, you know, kind of the bumpers, they're always kind of cheap, but you know, even the Nerf bars are okay. You know, it's it's, it's all right. I, we didn't break much on it, actually, I think um, maybe an ESC or something at one point. But, uh, you know, you've got with the threaded shocks and, and all that stuff, you know, yeah. the box is pretty durable. Cost That's operation in line with everything else. Yeah, I just want to point that out. Aluminum threaded shocks out of the box, again, not something you usually get on a ready to run two wheel drive. Um, one more thing to add to the value of the whole thing. Yeah, the price point is a little higher than I thought when I was first kind of going in. I'm like, oh, Kyosho, you know, it's probably going to be 200 bucks, but it was right up there with the Slash uh, and, the, and the Blitz and the SC10 in terms of price. But I was pleasantly surprised with uh, all that, how well it handled. Yeah, yeah, then Kyosho, they have a pretty good background with RC, not so much here in the States. You know, if you're watching this overseas, you might be saying, duh, yeah, they, they're a great company, but they're not quite as popular in the States. But when with the uh, where they are, the following that they have, they do very very well. They make a very good product. Yeah, we know them here mostly for their buggies, a scale mm -hmm. stuff like you know the Inferno and things like that. Um, fun factor, actually had a lot of fun with this truck. Uh, it was it handled just good enough to compensate. I thought it was a little doggy out of the box, uh, but obviously we took it out of the box with the exact same lipo battery in all of them, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and you know we could have tweaked it maybe you know could have changed some things with the gearing and things like that but the way it handled and uh the way it competed against the other trucks i actually thought for backyard it's not a great basher it's not a great racer out of the box but it's a great backyard racing truck i think if you're racing around with your friends and things like that it's going to hold up yeah and that's a great great point for fun factor if you have a truck that handles awesome out of the box better than your buddies well you're obviously going to have fun with it and yeah, we did too. I mean, we noted that in our little competition, our comparison, that this kind of handle is almost better than the rest out of the box, not untouched. Yeah, untouched, it was basically right up there at the SC10. The reason the SC10 probably gets the nod for the best two-wheel drive in terms of racing is because it's a little uh, faster, snappier out of the box. Um, you know, for bashing, again, Kyosho, for bashing, you kind of want speed and durability. Mm -hmm. You don't really get either here so Kyosho was in a funny spot with the Altima where consumers it's tough to really appeal to them yeah uh, unless again you do a lot of backyard racing that kind of stuff yeah if you, you race one with your friends sure you know if I, if I if all my friends had a slash I'd probably get a Kyosho just to kind of yeah one one up them a little bit mm -hmm. right um, in terms of uh, the value I thought it's fine, you know, it's average. I thought it was a little pricey out of the box compared to everything else, but you do get the aluminum threaded shocks where if you go with like a slash, that's a, you know, $40, $50, you know, $40, $50 upgrade. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's fine for yeah. value. It does all right. Depending on, you know, other trucks you're comparing it to, now, there, I mean, there's so, been so many more releases of these two-wheel drives. So you can buy a slash with 2.4 out of the box. Same with the team associated now. So it's hard to compare it. This one at the time, 27 megahertz radio. Yeah, like you said, it's kind of it's kind of wishy-washy for the cost because you look at some of these nice features like the the shocks and whatnot, but at the same time, a little bit older electronics. So well, and I think a lot of it comes on expectations too. And if you, 
if you don't know a lot about Kyosho or Kyosho, however you want to pronounce it, you kind of think, well, it's not a great racer, it's not a great basher, so you kind of would expect it to be more affordable, less expensive to compete. Mm. And it's not, you know, it holds its price. It's it's worth what you pay for it, but in the U.S. market, at least in our local market, you would kind of expect it to be a cheaper alternative. Yeah, a little harder to compare when you're bringing in a company from overseas, and even the companies based overseas, to here and compare it against our local companies. Mm -hmm. But it holds, it holds up, it does well. Yeah, and in terms of performance, I thought it performed great. A little doggy, uh, but that's a small thing, you know. Yeah, it's a stock tool drive brushed, you know. They're all a little doggy, but look at what do you expect, you know. Obviously, you're going to upgrade later. Eventually, you're going to upgrade. Well, and out of the box, I thought for sure the Slash would be faster than the Team Associated, and it wasn't. Yeah. So, you know, it goes to show you, like, you need to get in there and, and handle your gearing and figure out what's the best setup for it. Yeah, and right. This truck gives you the options that you need to do that. Yeah, completely tunable. Yeah. So, um, as a final summary, you know, we usually talk about, hey, would I go back and buy it again? Again, I try to put myself in your shoes out there. Uh, I would buy it if I liked racing my friends. And if you're a competitive type person, like I am, I, I, I don't like to just, you know, even when I'm bashing, it's like, oh, I'm going to jump this. Yeah. Well, I'm going to jump it yeah. further. You know, if you want to, if you, that's kind of the, what you do with your friends, you got a backyard track. Sure. I definitely, I think I'd probably prefer this over a slash just to have something different. Yeah. I would say for myself personally, I may not buy it again, only because one thing I may not touch on is part support. If you're doing a lot of that bashing, it's great to have a truck like this to say you're different and you don't, you're not following the crowd. But if you can't get parts for it right away, you know, it'd be something a lot of you that might be very important to some of you, not so much. But Kyosho, really, it's, it's really hard to find yeah. Kyosho parts at local stores. Great point, great point. Well, uh, if you have any questions about the review, post them up on down below. If you want to keep in touch with us and, and be notified when we upload new reviews, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you get some time, head over to our website at friendofrc.com. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.